Okay, if I put a spacer in right there, hold it up straight, it sits pretty well right here. I banged this with a hammer like the instructions said to get it right. I banged this in a little bit right here on both sides. And there was a, a lip right here. See it? I have to bang that down with a hammer. So now it's time to drill. All right, that's one side bolted in. I had to use a longer bolt here in the corner because it just was about a quarter inch too short. And pretty stiff. <clears throat> I'll do the other side. And I got the holes drilled. See, I'm messing up my paint. That sucks. Got the holes drilled on that other side where this could drop in. Probably should have waited for the paint to cure better. It's only been like 12 hours.
bent paint in there on that piece and on this. It has been a major pain in the butt. Okay, all this time lapsing is taking up a lot of video memory, so I just skipped that. This is what I ended up with. I drilled and tapped this right here to get these on, and then I had to, because this seat was narrower at the bolt points, um, I had to hog out these holes. So hopefully they'll fit, but that rack came off of the seat that's in the notch. So hopefully we'll see how this fits now. Okay, that's as far back as it goes, which seems like it is probably a good thing because otherwise you'd crush somebody's feet if they're back there. But this, this knob right here, it moves this forwards like this. This knob right here unhooks it so it flips. See? So that's done. So it's probably something I did, but this needs to be put in with a hammer and a punch and removed with a hammer and a punch. And I mean, I'm not sure what I would have done wrong, but it's a nice tight fit. It's not gonna be rattling, so I guess there's that. There it is, the last bolt. The seats are in, roll bars in, everything's buttoned up.